finally here, which means school will be getting out soon, the days will only continue to get warmer and warmer, and hopefully it means more time spent being outside enjoying all of what nature has to offer. For outfit numero uno, we have a pseudo Canadian tux with Story MFG's Tuesday jacket and my best and most favorite pants in my wardrobe, the Yoji Yamamoto five panel Japanese salvage denim jeans. I decided to include a pop of color with the Onitsuka Tiger Mexico 66s on feet and on my head we have a repaired rags hat, simple and clean. This outfit is definitely more so suited for early spring where it's a bit breezy out and you need a bit of light layering. For your convenience, as a reminder, all items will be linked down below in the description of this video. Does anybody remember field day? Did, did y'all have field day? If you don't know, field day as a child was a day during school in which instead of homework and class and learning, all the kids would go outside and play games. From kickball to tug of war, those must be some of my favorite memories from the spring in my entire life. <laughs> For outfit number two, I switched up a bit of the ancillary items and I feel like it gives it a whole new feel. Loafers in the spring are awesome. These are GH Bass, Brahms Fruit Hat, and Story MFG crossbody tote. This is like a SpongeBob I'm ready in his I'm ready voice outfit, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> You guys could probably have never guessed it, but I actually have lost 25-ish pounds over the last 8 months, or just over 11 kilograms for those of you who use those metrics. After the pandemic, your boy was looking a bit hefty. I had also cut my hair and I looked like 5 years older than what I actually was which is kind of sad. This outfit reminds me of a sort of varsity athlete look. The varsity jacket is bare knuckles, pants are bleeding indigo, and the shoes are collegium pillar courts or court lows or something with the court. I don't know if I love the way that the bottom half of this outfit interacts, but this is what personal style is all about. Experimentation and play. I think one of the hardest things about dressing well in the spring and the summer is the heat. When it's 85 plus Fahrenheit and 30 plus Celsius out, bruh, I start sweating and sweating does not make for cool fit pics. It isn't sweet when you start to sweat. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> I wasn't 100% feeling this one. Let me know what you think down in the comments though. Big shout out to all the people who showed love for the collab with Google. That was definitely one of the biggest moments of my career easily. I know some people get turned off by sponsored or branded content and rightfully so, I, I get you. But I can't thank those who in spite of marketing still show love to the output on the videos. This top by Samuel Zelig is amazing. It's a quarter zip. Hat is by I'll Call You Tomorrow. Shoes are Saucony Color Plus collabs. Bada bing, bada boom. What is that old nursery rhyme again? April showers bring May flowers? Well, it's true. Spring does mean warmer weather, but it also means rain and sometimes thunderstorms. Anybody else dislike thunderstorms? I think, I think it's human nature to not feel comfortable in a thunderstorm. This is about as gorp Corey you can get during the spring. The crinkles actually behind the scenes of making this outfit were immense, which is hilarious. Arcteryx Alpha SV on top, REI rain pants, Gore-Tex hat that isn't Gore-Tex, and the New Balance Neobium 3-in-1 shoes. I love Arcteryx, and specifically Arcteryx Colorado let me know that they're actually doing a giveaway with an additional Alpha SV jacket, the same one I have on here, on their Instagram, which is at Arcteryx Colorado. Give it a look if you're interested, and let them know that your boy Drew sent you. My latest obsession within the world of fashion has to be Japanese salvage denim. These are a pair of samurai jeans made in Japan and are technically a straight fit, but looking at them here, you would probably classify them as a skinnier fit. Japanese denim is just a grade above any other type of denim being created in the modern world. These are dyed using both natural indigo and proprietary indigo in Japan. 
I call this outfit my going to grab a burrito at Chipotle, but it's raining fit. <laughs> Let's get intimate here for a second. Since I brought up Chipotle and at the time I'm editing this video, I am very, very hungry. Let's run through my burrito order. Recently, I get a burrito bowl with both rices and both beans, chicken, fajita veggies, the red salsa, cheese, lettuce, and a side of guac. That's my go-to order. This bowl has actually played a relatively large role in part to me losing 11 kilograms over the last eight months. But how do you feel about this one? Sometimes it's fun being a bit crazy. I have never paired any of these pieces together. The shoes are Suiko Kid Super, jacket is Story MFG, and the bucket hat is Story MFG as well. Now you're probably asking yourself, Drew, where are the outfits with shorts? And don't worry, I got you. I love a good nylon pair of shorts as they keep you cool and allow lots of leg movement during the warm spring and summer days. These are by Porter James Sports. The open knit cardigan is Story MFG and the undershirt is Somar. This is a prime spring outfit, something light, colorful, and comfortable. Let's get a word in for today's sponsor, Squarespace. Are you interested in making your very own website for a brand or creative project? Squarespace offers a comprehensive amount of features to make the website that you've always dreamed of. If you wanna sell your products direct to consumer or if you just wanna display your body of work, Squarespace makes it easy to do that and more. Currently, I'm using my Squarespace website as a hub for all of my content and all of my social media platforms. And if you needed a sign to help nudge you into creating your first website, this is your sign. Visit squarespace.com slash Drew Joyner for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Now this outfit is for when it's just too hot outside. I should have paired a hat for the fact that at one, I haven't had a haircut in a bit, and for two, to protect my dome from the sun. <laughs> oh man. This flower top is by 316 and is damn near a wardrobe essential for the spring slash summer. I added black loafers and a black hat to maybe make this feel more cohesive. Let me know up until this point which outfit have you enjoyed the most. Button up shirts are probably the best way to look fashionable while staying cool at the same time during the spring and summer. This variant by Bema Tiboa is an absolute gem. A lot of people are asking me, whether it's through DM or in the comments, where to find variants of this for cheaper. And I wish I had an answer, but I don't right now. If you've noticed, I've almost never, if ever, recommended fast fashion. So if you have button up options that aren't Zara, H&M, Uniqlo, or Urban Outfitters, let me know and let the community know down in the comments. Okay, so this outfit I have here, I've never tried before. Orslo Canoe Club French short coat. These pants are Tommy Hilfiger and the shoes are the Conversations Amongst Us 2002R. This jacket is a perfect spring summer jacket. French short coats are awesome for that. And not to forget the hat, this hat is by Capital and it is their freewheeling trucker hat. This was an outfit I wore a ton in the spring of last year. The beautiful flower applique long sleeve is by Harego. Then bandana, the bandana, <laughs> the bandana is capital. <laughs> oh my gosh, can I say? The bandana is capital. And if you want me to go over more on how to tie slash style bandanas, let me know down in the comments. Shoes are Jown New Balance 990 V3s, and I love this outfit because of how the shoes are a bit of fun, neutral pop-up color without taking over the entire outfit. And, and with New Balances, it means all day comfort and walkability. Speaking of walkability, Colorado is not walkable at all. Sometimes Lauren and I are walking around the city of Denver and are baffled by the decisions made by the commerce division of the city. 
Walkability within a city has become one of the most glaring differences between the US and Europe. And unless you're in New York City, your car is literally your BFF. And if you don't have a car, you're out of luck because then you're stuck with bad public transportation, at least here in Colorado. This top is one of my favorites, especially for when it's really hot outside. It is by Collegium, and I'm not sure if they're still selling them, but check it out. The shorts are Menressa MFG Ram shorts, a great addition to any wardrobe. The shoes from Outfit 15, the previous outfit were the Sui Coke clogs, and these are the GH Bass Weijin suede penny loafers. I think by adding a hat, it actually finished up the outfit and made it feel like an actual outfit. This one is just a simple dad cap. So, like I mentioned, I've lost a bit of weight over the last several months, which means I'm a bit more confident in tops like this. This is a crochet button-up from No Maintenance. I'm on my Japanese denim wave, so these are the Sugarcane Okinawas. Hat is by Ferrer, and the shoes are the Birkenstock Bostons. If you know, you know. To me, this might be my favorite outfit of the video so far, but yeah. I would have never worn this last year or two years ago. Confidence goes a long way. Confidence does wonder to your style, folks. And whichever way you can capture it, capture it. This is a, another version of the previous outfit. But instead of the top by No Maintenance, this one is by Libero. I also swapped out the black Burks for the brown Burks, and bada bing bada boom, here's outfit number 18. Okay, so these last few outfits are my par for the course. They are my bread and butter. They, they're, they're my comfort zone everyday looks. This top is Horego. Pants are the Yoji's penny loafers on feet. If I had a fresh cut, I know I could take your girl. <laughs> Uh, this hoodie by Basket Case Gallery is hilariously awesome for every reason that it can be. If you don't know about Basket Case Gallery, then you should tap in with them. The shoes are Adidas Superstars, and the hat is the Ore Trucker hat. I love this outfit, and this is just a nice little cool, calm, and collected fit with a little bit of, you know, funniness with the hoodie. If you want to simplify the previous outfit, this is the outfit for you. Here you go. This is for a cold spring day like it is today here in Denver. It snowed today. The sweater is by the best. Um, he's a homie, Ethan Glenn. His brand is Every Other Thursday, and that's where I acquired this. Okay, last but certainly not least, if you know Drew Joyner, then you know I have to include an outfit with a pair of Dickies 874 in them. I still think for a black pleated pair of pants, you can't go wrong with a simple, cheap pair of 874 Dickies. The top is a vintage top, the shoes are Ore NYC Derbies, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know which outfit you enjoyed the most down in the comments. And as always, I'm spreading peace, love, and positivity in 2023. So that means I'm spreading peace, love, and positivity to you from me. Wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful rest of your day. Abianto and peace. What is good, post vid vid? Here's a fist bump for the one time. Bop! Here's two of them things for the two times. Bop! Peace.